Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of MOPO. It's all MOPO, Matter of Personal Opinion. And today I want to show you guys a actual Christmas present I got uh, from my good friend Jeff. It is the 2008 World Series Champions box set. It just so happens to be the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, this is not only a great gift, but it's very nostalgic. You know, um, being from Philadelphia, if you know anything about the city and the sports history, we don't win too many championships. And prior to 2008, the last time the Phillies won the World Series was in 1980. So, yeah, it's a good, like, 28 years. Um, prior to 2008, like, obviously, I was born in 83, they had not won a World Series my entire life. And, you know, growing up in the city, you know, you don't win too much. You kind of get it in the back of your head, like, maybe, hey, they might never win. Uh, I might die before the Phillies win a championship. But, you know, you kind of feel that way at the Eagles and the 76ers. But the Phillies actually did it, and they won the World Series in 2008. And it was just a phenomenal feat. Um, pump the whole city up, the whole area. It's, you know, it makes you feel good when your home team actually wins. So, I'm going to actually just go ahead and jump in. But before I jump in, so many people are like, oh, well, what is he doing? I actually got two. So, don't worry about it. We still have the fresh, you know, unopened, sealed package. So we'll just jump right in. And what's inside this box, it already says, 15 regular season, oh, I'm sorry, 25 regular season player cards, 15 regular season highlight cards, 9 postseason memorable moment cards, 1 World Series MVP card, and 1 oversized commemorative card. Now, I already know... No, I'm not going to ruin the secret for people who may not know who the World Series MVP was that year. I'm going to open up the box from the top. And in it is the memorative card. I'm not going to open that. 2008 World Series Champions. We got... Shane Victorino there jumping on top of, well, everybody's on top of Brad Lidge right there, I believe, or maybe Ryan Howard, but Ryan Howard and Brad Lidge are at the bottom of that pile there. Actually, Ryan Howard got hurt in that celebration, too. Foreshadowing. So then, there's also two more packs of cards in there. And what we'll do is we'll open up what looks like the world, the um, regular season cards first. Kind of build our way up. Got guys like Jimmy Rollins, Jimmy Rollins, Jason Worth, Chase Utley, Ryan Howard, Pat the Bat Burrow, my personal favorite player. Shane Victorino, Pedro Feliz, Carlos Ruiz, Cole Hamels, Brad Lidge, who actually was the closing pitcher, people remember, had the perfect season that year. All throughout the year, regular season, playoffs, postseason, he is perfect in save opportunities. And Jamie Moyer, who honestly should have retired after that year. But he, you know, maintained a few years after that. Brett Myers, Joe Blanton, Greg Dobbs, who was a phenomenal utility player in the league for us and a couple other teams. Chris Coast, who was a career minor leaguer, but um, came up with the Phillies. I believe he played like two or three years at the end of his career. But it was a good story. Eric Bruntlett, Jeff Jenkins, who actually scored the World Series winning run after Pat Burrell hit a double 
they take Pepperell out, put Jeff Jenkins in, and he winds up scoring the winning run. Matt Stairs, who actually hit a lot of home runs for us in the playoffs. Sal Taguchi. J.C. Romero. Ryan Madsen, who was a setup man to Brad Lidge. They call it the bridge to Lidge. Jay Happ, I believe this is his rookie year. No, no, sec second, second year. Chad Durbin, Clay Condry, and Scott Ayer. So that was basically the regular season roster. There's some rookies, some veterans. Uh, you know, staples in Philly's history. Ryan Howard, Chase Sutley. Pretty sloppy here. Like I said, Pepperell, Jimmy Rollins. These three guys are probably the best infield the Phillies ever had. And then also, I guess I'd be remiss if I didn't throw in Cole Hamels there. And we'll see him later on. These cards actually very nice condition. Foil. Feel very smooth in my hand. So now we'll get into the highlight cards. Season highlights. Cole Hamels. His first career shutout that year. Ryan Howard. Homer twice versus the Red Sox that year. Jamie Moyer probably just for being so old. Brad Lidge season highlight. Like I said, can't can't give this man enough credit. Perfect season. Why not? Brett Myers, I believe. Um, okay. Brett Myers is known for one, when the Phillies actually first started getting good, he actually got the first win, the, the first out and the last out one year. He got the opening day win. And then got the save on the last game of the year, which is pretty cool. Carlos Chucharuiz coming into his own this year when we won the World Series. Chris Cosa, like I said, probably because of his story career in the minors. Pedro Feliz played third base that year for us. Jason Worth, who, you know, had a good year years for us, played for the Dodgers. Then went on to play for the Nationals. Still in the league now. A pretty good career. Shane Victorino was a popular Philadelphia Philly. Uh, also no longer with the team. Pat Burl here was known as a Met killer. But that card references um, when we beat the Giants. He had two home runs. Jimmy Rollins will go down as being the guy who said that year the Phillies were the team to beat. He actually predicted we win the World Series, said we win the division, and that was during the preseason. So I guess he had a really good feeling about this year. Chase Utley. Chase Utley's the man. He hit five home runs in the next World Series that we actually lost to the Yankees. But Chase Utley, I'll never forget, they had the parade, they're showing the parade on TV, me and my mom were watching it, and I'm not going to repeat what he said, but basically, the man came on live national TV and said, world effing champs, and we'll go down in history as being the man after that. Greg Dobbs, like I said, great utility player, Ryan Madsen, Bridge to Lidge. Um, World Series memorable moment. Brad Lidge just continues what he's been doing all year. Um, World Series moment. Shane Victorino hit a grand slam. Um, a memorable playoff moment. Pat Burrell hit two home runs versus Milwaukee. Here we go. Brett Myers. Um, 
doing the job at the plate too. You know, National League pitchers also have to hit. Um, they're not really known for hitting too well. So when they actually do get a hit, it's pretty good. Um, we have Matt Stairs here commemorating the home run he hit against the Dodgers. I actually remember that. That home run was towering. He's a pinch hit home run. Like, that means he didn't play the whole game. They brought him in and, you know, uh, he had the home run. Uh, this is Chase Utley. Um, first inning, two run home run, first game of the World Series. Um, Jamie Moyer did a good job in one of the games. Ryan Howard hit two home runs in game four of the World Series that year. So then, this is what I was referring to earlier when I was talking about Jeff Jenkins scoring the game-winning run in game five. What happened here was game five of the World Series um, was delayed by rain. So the game is winding down, and they essentially, Pat Burrell comes up, hits that double, and they stop the game. So then they resume the game, and they have Jeff Jenkins took the place of Pat Burrell, and he actually winds up scoring the game-winning run. And then we have the grand finale of the World Series MVP, Cole Hamels. And I don't necessarily think that was just for the World Series. He had a phenomenal playoff set. He had five wins, was the starting pitcher in that game five, and if it weren't suspended, he probably would have had six wins, which would have would be a MLB record. So all in all, this is kind of exactly what I thought it would be. Um, excellent gift for any Philadelphia fan. Um, apparently, my friend got this pretty cheap, too, which is extraordinary to me because... Honestly, it's the World Series 2008 box set. I'm sure they didn't make millions of these. And it commemorates one of the best seasons in a team's history. Any team. It doesn't necessarily have to be the Phillies. I kind of have a feeling, this is Mopo, my own personal opinion, that if this were the Yankees or the Mets or the Dodgers or, you know, some more popular team, maybe it'd be more expensive. But like I said, that's just Mopo. Well, I'm going to close it out with that. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Um, yeah, and it's all my pup.